Besides being an excellent productivity monitoring software, WorkPulse provides you with detailed employee timesheets that capture data across different time categories. This is how the timesheets will look once your employees have WorkPulse up and running. If you're an admin of your WorkPulse account, you'll see information for all employees in your organization. But if you have a manager account, you'll only see the team that you're managing. On top of the page, you'll see average per shift numbers for office time, computer activities, productive time, and productivity percentage. This will instantly give you a clear picture of the overall productivity levels and help you see if the whole team is making progress. There are many different categories within employee timesheets. To get the most out of WorkPulse, you need to understand what each of them represents. So, let's take a look. The clock in and clock out columns show you the exact time your employees clocked in or out using WorkPulse. Office time is the total time recorded between an employee's clock in and out. Computer activities show the total time an employee has spent actively working on the computer during their office time. Keep in mind that idle time is not included in this calculation. Based on your productivity label settings and productivity calculations, productive time will include the total time spent on productive activities. Based on your productivity label settings and productivity calculations, unproductive time will include the total time spent on unproductive activities. Based on your productivity label settings and productivity calculations, neutral time will include the total time spent on neutral activities. Keep in mind that all unreviewed apps and websites will also show as neutral until they're reviewed. Idle time represents the total amount of time an employee didn't spend actively working on the computer during their office time period. Break time represents the amount of time your employee spent on a break during office time. By default, the productivity percentage total is calculated based on how much time was spent on productive activities as a proportion of the total computer activities time. However, you can customize this formula and make it suit your team's needs. When WorkPulse is working in stealth mode, with always tracking settings turned on, office time will be calculated from the time of the first computer activity to the last computer activity of that day. For example, if an employee's computer is inactive for a period of time during the day and goes into sleep mode, the clock out time will represent the last time of recorded activity. However, if a computer is inactive for more than four hours, WorkPulse will automatically clock out the employee and once the computer is active again, WorkPulse will start a new shift. There you have it. Now you have a better understanding of how WorkPulse helps you monitor and analyze your team's workdays.